Hi everyone, I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of uh, the B-Sides band. So I'm just going to restart this one here. Uh, so when it starts up, you'll see that there's a little animation and a sponsor, um, and then a uh, loading screen, which it does a bunch of stuff. It will update the badge, unlock any challenges if you had unlocked them before, test LEDs, um, and then play a little animation. So that gets to your default screen that has the little logo, um, at the top left has your level, and at the top uh, right has the team or faction that you're part of, um, and then your alias, in this case I just set it to the attendee, it's the default attendee badge. Uh, so from here the badge will periodically update against the server, and you'll see that happen uh, shortly hopefully. There we go, and that will then set um, the LEDs, you can see this is a green team or faction, and there's five uh, levels that it's got. So I go through the badge using the left uh, pad. Here you can see that this is a seven challenges. There's a code for this badge that will let me do things like unlock the alias or change it on the web server. Um, and then the badge ID specifically for this badge. Um, so then I can go through the other screens. Uh, just wait for it to update. Uh, the next screen that we've got is the schedule. So if you go to the schedule screen, you can just use the right hand panel. And now I can see, okay, who's uh, the very schedule for the conference. Um, and I can see all the talks that are there. Uh, then the next screen is the challenges. So if you've completed the challenges, uh, some of them offline, uh, you'll basically play a challenge uh, offline somewhere. Um, once you've solved it, you can then put in uh, onto a web server the badge ID and you'll get a token back. And you can use that and then your badge will automatically unlock something. So these have, uh, this one I've sold all of them. Um, so yeah, I can see all the different challenges um, and they do various things like the alias one might just show your alias on the screen. Um, but some of the others do things like you can unlock uh, Pong or you can do uh, some wall badging. Um, so it'll just scan for Wi-Fi networks or whatever else. Um, so you can use uh, them for various things. So it just runs another animation that you can only get once you've unlocked the, the various things. Um, and let me do a wall badging one. So this just shows you uh, here I can scan for networks. You'll see it scanning, and it'll just print me out a list of uh, the current strength and the type of network and everything else. If I want to quit, I just use the two middle ones. Okay, then the following screen is a rock, paper, scissors, spark, lizard. So you can play the game against someone else um, who has a badge. As long as they've unlocked their alias, that will give them access to this. Um, and if you start it, then you'll be able to, uh, sorry, this side, you'll be able to select either rock, paper, scissors, spock or lizard um, and then you'll be able to join uh, with someone else over uh, infrared. I'll show you that just now. Um, I'm just going to go back. Okay, and then the last screen is just the about screen. Um, this shows the current build of whatever we've uploaded to each badge just so we can keep track of it. Uh, so that's a quick walkthrough of the badges um, and I think we had a lot of fun making them.